Hello and welcome to the first uh, edition of our new video series called The Superintendent's Corner. Each time we're on, we'll try to highlight some of the great things that are going on in our school district. First off, as just a reminder to everybody, our elementary school was nominated by DPI Superintendent Tony Evers to be one of the, our state's representatives at the Blue Ribbon School. For those of you who don't really understand that, uh, blue, winning, being named a national Blue Ribbon School is, is, would be like winning the Super Bowl and a gold medal on the same day. Um, in our middle school, the seventh, uh, our seventh graders participated once again in the Trees for Tomorrow and later on on our website you can find a post from former science teacher Mike Zawanitzer and exciting updates from the current science teacher Brian Baker and um, also Erica Olson who is a PE teacher in our middle school. Um, at our high school last week they hosted their first ever career fair. The fair was set up by the kids and they invited uh, more than 30 professions to come in where students could interact with people from different uh, walks of life and learn what the options are as far as um, their opportunities for careers. And we also um, brought in 17 different universities and tech schools so kids could begin that process of thinking about where they might go when they leave here. Our feature will also, uh, our new video feature will also include a, an employee feature we sort of, sort of call Serving with Passion. We are um, going to highlight Jennifer Stenberg. Jenny is a, a science teacher in our high school and she's also the lead person on what we call our ILA. It's an independent learning academy for um, kids who want to work at a different pace. Uh, it's some high flying ninth graders. It's a lot of extra effort on Jenny's part and we really, um, it highlights what we mean when we say serving with passion to ignite creativity, innovation, and excellence. And she's making it happen, and we're so thankful for her efforts. My name is Jenny Stenberg, and I've taught in Salem for four years now. The College of Career Fair actually first came about, um, we were talking last spring, we have a new initiative here with a new academy um, called the Independent Learning Academy. Last spring, um, the teachers that were involved with that started brainstorming and this kind of came about as a possible idea of something to do. So we ended up having a keynote um, address as well as about 50 um, community members come in and do breakout sessions with our students about their careers and their professions. And then we also hosted a college fair and military fair in our gymnasium as well. We appreciate so much that they took the time away from their profession and their job. Some of them even took vacation time to come in and, and um, share their profession and their passions with their students. Um, I think that you can just draw so much of your own, you know, uh, motivation just from them because they're, I appreciate that they're excited to be here and they want to learn and so that motivates me to try to be the best I can be. And I think the biggest lesson you can get, especially from taking, you know, more difficult science classes is that we're not perfect at everything. Like it's okay to fail and actually failure makes us stronger and so if something's not working out we're going to figure out the best way to be successful and so when we reach those obstacles in life we can, um, we have the skills and we know how we can get through that obstacle and help ourselves to be successful. We're also going to take a moment to each month to highlight a student and this, this month we want to talk about Chase Jones. Chase is a seventh grader in our middle school. Um, and on top of all the cool stuff he's done as a, as a student this year, last summer he and his father completed uh, uh, their quest to hike the entire Ice Age Trail in Wisconsin and uh, he became the youngest boy ever to document a hiking from one end to the other of that Ice Age Trail. It's really cool stuff. There was some great stuff in the paper this summer but pretty special thing and on top of that Chase is a wonderful student in our middle school and offers lots of great things to his peers. Uh, interesting thing at our high school, uh, you know, as communication changes in terms of um, email and online grade books and all this kind of stuff, we're attempting to find the right mix for parent-teacher conferences and they're trying something new this spring where people will set up individual times almost like we do in our elementary school, schedule the time, come in and meet directly with that person as opposed to the more cafeteria model we've always done in the high school. I think uh, uh, the high school is going to try a mix of the cafeteria model earlier in the year and a more direct uh, approach in the spring. So it'll be interesting to see how that works. So we want to make sure that we're engaging our parents and, and trying to meet parents where they want to go um, so that we get uh, better participation there. 
Well, thanks for looking at the first video. I hope you enjoy it. Um, check out the links and the things that go with it on our website. And uh, on behalf of everyone here in the district, we're so appreciative and thankful for all that you do in supporting public education and our mission to serve with passion to ignite creativity, innovation, and excellence. Thank you.